let me begin by saying um, I'm so pleased that LeBron and his family are safe, of course, and that they weren't living in that residence when it happened. Not to say that I heard his concern for his family and how he is to be with them to explain, frankly, a horrific incident like that. So my heart goes out to him, especially when all his focus obviously needs to be on the floor. That's just a distraction that no one could possibly need. As to the incident itself, um, it's a sad state of affairs. I, I don't think there's any doubt, none of us are naive, that we still live with these types of issues in our society. Um, I think your question about the league's role, I think there's a, there's a strong history in this league of speaking out on issues of inequality, of racial injustice. LeBron himself has been incredibly articulate on these issues as he was the other day. I think there are, I think that I think about this platform we have in sports and that this is an opportunity to continue to unify people, to demonstrate to the people, I see it out on the floor, what it means to run a system where there is true, or as close as we have in our society, to a true egalitarian system where people are judged entirely on merit. And I think there's a role we can continue to play in society as a unifier. It's, it's so easy in this day and age to pull people apart, yet we have this platform. I mean, think about my opening remarks where we have people here gathered, even just the media from around the world. We have a league that is 75% African American, but also 25% international. So it's a true melting pot. You have people coming together from all walks of life, from around the world, all playing for, uh, you know, together uh, on the floor under a common set of rules. So I think that we're going to redouble our efforts. I think in working directly with our players, with our players' association, and speaking out on these types of issues.